Welcome to this IP Motion tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use the NI DACMX plugin to build your data acquisition applications with IP Motion. IP Motion is open to any third party hardware system. With the NI DACMX plugin, you can interface I.O. modules from the NI DACMX family to the IP Motion test and measurement software. To set up the communication between the hardware and IP Motion, the NI Measurement and Automation Explorer must be installed. The NI DACMX plugin is handling the communication to this NI driver library and IP Motion. IP Motion is an easy to use out of the box software package to cover applications for dynamic data acquisition. However, the control and automation functions with PID loops, function generators, and test sequencing make test bench automation an easy job. I'm starting now the IP Motion data acquisition software. After program start, I open the application menu and check in the options all my installed plugins. In my case, I've already installed the NI DACMX plugin and I activate the plugin now. If you like to update or download a new plugin, just hit the download button which takes you straight to the IP Motion website where you can see all the plugins for download. After installation of the plugin, you need to restart IP Motion so that the new plugin is integrated to the software. I'm now moving to the Signals worksheet to set up my DAX system. I have a USB connection to my computer for the BNC 6221 and BNC 6229 device. When I hit the Detect button, IP Motion is scanning over all the activated plugins and run the hardware detection. Both boards get directly integrated to IP Motion. In the system tree on the left hand side, you can see that the channels are grouped by input type digital counter, analog I.O., and hardware type digital I.O. On device level, you will find in the extended tab sheet the serial number of the board, which is coded in hexadecimal form. Now we'll take you briefly through the channel configuration options. First of all, I activate all the channels. On the standard digital I.O., you can specify on channel level in the format tab sheet the data direction. You can operate the I.O. either as an input channel or as an output channel. The counter channel can be configured also on channel level in the tab sheet counter I.O. Here you can select the counter mode, whether it's edge counting or full strain. You can specify the cycle source from another digital I.O. or sample clock of the analog input or analog output. Specify the edge counting, whether it's rising or falling edge counting, and the counting direction up or down, and an initial start value. When you select create full strain mode, you can specify here the duty cycle. The scaling of the analog inputs and outputs is very easy. You just open on channel level the tab sheet scaling and then select the scaling calculator. Here you can convert the standard plus minus 10 volt input signal into your engineering units like bar. Different scaling options like factor offset scaling, multipoint scaling and so on are supported as well. The sample rate is also easily adjusted here in the column sample rate, where you just type in the desired sample rate, for example, 10 kHz. One special category are the hardware timed digital IOs. They can have different trigger sources. The trigger source is configured in the extended timing tab sheet. In the cycle source in a drop down list, you can select another internal channel as a trigger source. Also, the activation, whether it's on rising or falling edge, can be specified. After reviewing all the channel configurations, I would like to show you how to set up some graphical user interfaces. I take you now to the view work area and hit the start display and storage button. Online data is directly displayed for the active channel. I'm now creating a new view page too, and here I can select from a large range of different display instruments like charts or alphanumerical instruments, LEDs, tachometers. To link the channels to the instruments, I change to the channels tab sheet and with drag and drop, 
I can link the channels to the instrument. I've already prepared a first page with some graphical instruments. With the signal generator, I show you analog signals and as well we have digital inputs operating our LEDs. As you can see here in the bottom, we have enabled the data storage and the data file is written. With a double click to the data file, I can open the data recorded so far and get an overview of my data in a tabulated format. From here, we can directly switch into the analysis work area and drag and drop the channels to our diagram. After that, we can apply function for stretching, zooming into the graph on data point level. From here, we can directly generate a report by hitting the report tab sheet, which is converting the analysis result into the report. The report itself can be converted into a PDF file and it's ready for use in documentation. We have a cover sheet and the report trend diagrams. IPMotion is an easy to use test and measurement software for a wide range of applications. Thank you very much for your attention.